little babies? No. See, no. I'm at the point where it's starting to rumble in my tummy, and I waddle my ass into the single bathroom, and there's sometimes just people in there. So if they're if that stall, I call it Russian roulette because if you go in there, you're fucking waddling and running to get to the next bathroom to take a shit. Oh, there's like twelve bathrooms within like thirty feet of each other. It's not oh, that not bad. This. There's oh, just this. This. so I'm not I'm not looking far for a bathroom. Oh, I am. I'm I actually. I actually, depending on which way I go, I walk by three other bathrooms just to get to the single bathroom. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. What are we doing? Do you want to start the Do you want to start the baseball show now, or should we just keep rambling for a few? No, minutes this is just to, just to make just to make this longer for Rich. No, no, no. He's gonna love it. The file I'm gonna send it. He's gonna be pissed. Uh, we're not gonna do opening takes because it's just the baseball show. So, I have an opening take. All right, Bill, give me your opening take. I want an opening take out of you too. This is my opening take. Red Sox, stop fucking lowballing your goddamn homegrown players. Do not follow the same fucking pat- pattern. The news report that came out Wednesday, as we record this, is Raphael Devers turned down an extension for the Red Sox because it was, and I quote, not well below what he was considering i thought it was well below market value too it said well below considering the no. numbers haven't came out yet as we record this at 7 40 on a wednesday night it hasn't came out yet for numbers but do not let do not do what you just did to the mookie bet situation right now it's a fucking joke he's again I've, he's a top probably 12 to 15 player in the league borderline top 10 player that's how good he's going to be and he's just going to get better 10 for 300 million dollars should be the benchmark you just saw jose ramirez at 29 years old so signed for five years i think 148 million dollars double that and lock him up long term don't be cheap dickheads speaking about being cheap dickheads uh chris sale is working himself into being one of the worst contracts in red sox history uh once again starting a season on the dl this frail 130 pound six foot six man cannot stay healthy uh he's supposed to be your ace your uh, anchor in this rotation and once again he is not on the starting day rotation so yeah uh, you won't you'll sign a fucking frail guy who has injury issues but won't sign probably one of the top young guys in the game as in Rafi Devers that he is. And it's just a bad look for Bloom who, I mean, not Bloom for uh, John Henry, who's clearly not giving two fucks about this team anymore and is worrying about Liverpool and the Pittsburgh Penguins and acquiring an NBA team. So Liverpool. yeah, so that's that. So yeah, this is the simple minds sports show social hour around the MLB since the season has started. We're going to take a look around, obviously, uh, Go with the Red Sox. I say something? You fucking suck at intros. Thank you. Uh, so we'll talk about the Red Sox and around the league at that. So welcome to the show. And as always on this show, we are drinking White Birch Brewing, the best craft brewing in uh, New Hampshire. Bill, address, please. 460 Amherst Street, that, Nashua, New Hampshire. That a boy, Billy. You do pay attention when we do this. That's correct. The good side of Amherst Street. I'm still drinking this something a little more interesting, double IPA, delicious. Go down to the Tap House, check it out. They have a nice flat screen TV you can drink and watch the local games on television. And whatever you do, tell them that the Simple Minds boys sent you. White Birch Brewing. Uh, Bill, who will be the Red Sox MVP at season's end? Uh, I think I said in headlines, Rafi, Rafi Devers, followed by with a – I think he's your best player. I think he's going to lead the team. He's primed. It looks like he's batting second – Right now, I just – big home runs. He hit 39 last year. I think he could hit anywhere from 40 to 50 this year. I mean, he's smacking the ball all, all over the park in spring training. Closely, closely ahead of Trevor Story. I think Trevor Story needs to be in the conversation. I think he's going to be a bigger addition than I thought he would be, and especially batting in that sixth hole. He's, he, he's probably going to legitimately lead your team in RBIs, Trevor Story. But Rafi Devers, Red Sox MVP. MVP. Thank you, William. I'm going to go with Xander. I think Xander is going to, it's going to be a prove it year for him. I think he's going to go out there and uh, he always struggles mid season, but I think this year 
He's going to put it all together. He's going to be the best player from April all the way to September. And you're going to, we're just going to put some respect on his name. He's going to prove that he's the best shortstop in the game right now. So I'm going to go Xander Bogarts, Bill. Why you shake your head and just, you're not approving this. No, I mean, I think he's in for a big season. I wouldn't say best shortstop in the game. That was the only thing I was disagreeing with you, but he's, he's up there. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, who or what position will hold this team back the most for the Red Sox this year? Starting pitching. That's it. I just, mean, uh, you won't go to the bullpen though. You don't think the bullpen is going to be the worst part? Who's the closer right now? Matt Barnes. I think you could you could close with Jake Dykeman. Uh, you know, I mean, you signed him in the offseason. He's a decent lefty. He saved seven games for Oakland last year. You could save with him. But, I mean, yeah, Matt Barnes it looks like he's getting getting the nod to start the season. I mean, it's – it's if you can get, you know, half of that all-star – that he got last year. I mean, that's that's decent. I mean, if he can get back to form, I mean, he was an all-star in the, f- the first half of last year. What but, happened on that in the second half of the year? I know. I know. I mean, you have question marks. I think starting pitching is your biggest question mark. I mean, pitching as a whole. You want to throw it together? It's pitching. Yeah. Your yeah. offense is a top six, seven offense in this league. Your pitching is question mark. Outside of Nathan Evaldi, everything after is question marks. I didn't even throw Evaldi on there because he pitched a lot of innings last year. I don't know. He's what thirty three this year, something 30. like that. I don't know his age. See how his body handles that going back to back years of being the ace and going out and pitching all those innings once again. Yeah, I mean you're gonna see they loaded up on pitchers now, so you expanded the rosters to twenty eight um, in up until May. So you're gonna see a lot of pitching. You, they're only gonna go four or five innings, and then you're gonna hand it. I know that. The That's the nerd, so. the whole nerd thing. But still, you got to make it four or five innings. I don't know if do you think Pavetta's gonna be able to do that once again this year. No, nope. I have questions with him. I have questions with Tanner Hulk, who's penciled as your penciled in as your number three starter. I have questions with Michael Waka, who's penciled in. And you hate Rich starter. Hill. Why do you hate Rich Hill so much? I don't hate Rich Hill. I genuinely like Rich Hill. I just hate the fact that they signed a forty two year old starting pitcher who has a history of blister problems. And let me remind you, he's forty two years old. But I mean- but let me re- – so you do have hope on your horizon, James Paxton, around the all-star break. Good, decent lefties. Had good success. Especially How old is he? Adult. He's uh, yeah, mid-30s. Oh, okay. I thought he was up there. I thought he was like 39. No. He might be. I don't know. I don't remember how old he – but he had a good run in Seattle. He was a perennial, you know, kind of Cy Young. He was a top-10 what? pitcher for the AL for a little while. Was he good for the Yankees too for a little bit? Decent, but he had he struggled staying healthy, and then he had yeah. Chris Sale coming back. He went to the ALC, ALCS last year without Chris Sale. So whatever you get out of Chris Sale from now until the end of the regular season is a plus. If he can get back to half the form he was, you know, before you know when he was a perennial, he was should have won a Cy Young with the Red Sox, but he got hurt every season. Yeah. So I mean, I like the the shit he's been saying. Chris Sale saying, you know, I'd hate me too. I haven't been healthy. I've been hurt every single season. You know, good, good for him. I generally like Chris Sale. I, 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 I you know, I like to compete. Oh, of course, I like yeah. the shit he's, he's like, I know. I'm a big Chris Sale guy, but yeah, one of the worst contracts. And but he can, if he backs it up when he gets gets back and he's healthy, then. What if he gives you seventy five percent and James Paxton gives you? 60 percent where do you well, see and then if you're taking taylor hawk and maybe but i mean taylor hawk and who you know pick one of michael walker and rich hill is out of the rotation you're sliding in paxton and, and chris sale then your rotation looks a lot different no. right so if you get you've got you G- that rotation if that was your starting uh friday's starting line like rotation where would you fit that into the al east i mean obviously we talked about it on headlines you said this fourth time. you still think it's the fourth Yep. Wow. Even yeah, if you're getting a healthy Chris Sale and a healthy a hundred percent healthy Chris Sale, like Cy give me eighty five percent. So eighty five percent of his Cy Young. Yeah. They uh yeah, so you know, yeah, so I'm still saying fourth. Wow. So you have no faith that this rotation is gonna do anything for us this year. No, I think your offense is carrying you this year. I think you're going to win a lot of games. Carry. I think you're, you're, you're going to win a lot, a lot of, eight of games. To seven games or whatever. I think your bullpen is going to win a, win you a lot more games in your rotation. I think that's the way. Really? The, the, the way the game's going now, anyways. Just think of the way the game's going. But the bullpen we just said is just trash. I don't think it's as trash as we think. I mean, I, I don't. 
I mean, Robles, you're back. I'd say, you know, he had a good run at the end of the year. He saved 19, 20 games a couple of years ago. So let's say 14 last year. So he can save, you know, I mean, Ryan Brazier is back. You have fucking, again, Matt Barnes, Garrett Whitlock's playing in a multi-inning role where he can, he can kind of close too. I mean, if you want to move him in the role, I mean, I think the bullpen is a little better than we're going to give it credit to. I think Matt Stram, another lefty out there. So, I mean, you have options. So, I mean, you can, you have options to get from, you know, the fourth inning on. So I think your bullpen is going to win you a little more games. They're going to win you a lot of games. Well, you are Billy baseball. So I'm not going to argue with you on any of that. I'm going to take your word for it, but I have a question for you, Bill. After last year's ALCS appearance uh, is the world series. Is it world series or bus for this team? Meaning that, you know, that was what you did last year. You added to this team. You got rid of uh, some guys, but you brought back uh, better guys in Trevor Story. And uh, I mean, it should be, but I don't see him getting there. No. So was, was that a failure of a season? Um, they overachieved last year. So, I, yeah, I guess. I thought they overachieved. I didn't. I had oh, I think, three I think, wins. I think we all but. thought they, except for Rich. Rich had them going to the World Series at the beginning of the year, but I think we all thought they were going to get bounced early because the pitching staff looked like shit. I think they're a playoff team this year. So I is that only because of the expanded wild card? Yes, I think you're the third wild card team. So that's the only reason why they'll be a playoff team. Yeah, it's a failure. <laughs> failure of a season. We win championships here, not playoff appearances. It's a failure. So where do you see this team finishing? Give me a give me a record and where they finish in the AL East. Ninety and seventy two. Wow. Eighty eighty nine and seventy three. Somewhere around there. I, I still think you're fourth. I th- I have Toronto winning ninety seven to ninety nine games. Maybe maybe that hundred mark. I have Tampa. I have Tampa, Tampa always right. does stuff that just you they have no name guys and they just make a run for it every year. I think Tampa's right there. I think Tampa could be a, a I think between Toronto and Tampa, I think they're both could be a hundred win teams. And then the Yankees are I think the Yankees are probably ninety two, ninety three wins, maybe yeah. more. I mean, I think Toronto's gonna fall on their face. So we're gonna do this little exercise with Billy Baseball here. Uh I wanna get give me your division winners. Let's start with the AL. Okay, so let's do AL right. East. AL East. I'm gonna write right, these go. down. Okay. So I ahead. want I, I have Toronto win the AL East this year. All right. So you have Toronto. I'm gonna go with Tampa. I think Toronto every year builds it up, builds it up, and they just can't fucking produce. So Bill has Toronto. I'm taking the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh let's go central, Bill. Uh White Sox. Of course, Bill's third favorite baseball team is the chicago white Sox. They're, they're fucking loaded if they stay healthy they're loaded i'm gonna go twins i don't I just they've been making a lot of moves lately and i know you're, just, you're, not do, high, I, you're not high on it but i just like what they're doing i like there. their i like some of their moves i just don't trust them i don't like their their pitching i think they added john gray uh, not john gray sunny gray yeah they did they added sunny they added gray sunny. and they added someone else too i think they picked up uh carrera they got yes, carrera. Yes. brian Byron Buxton can't stay healthy. Max Kepler, strike on machine. Michelle Miguel Sano, strike on machine. I just, I don't know. I, the I Cleveland don't sucks. Cleveland win. sucks. Uh, who else is in the central there? Houston? KC. KC. No, Houston's this in the is west. west. Okay, so KC sucks. Uh, I don't know. I just, I, I think the Twins. I, I just don't want to pick the same as you. Uh, west. Who you got in the West? Uh, Astros. I'm going to go Mariners. You know why? They haven't won a fucking – I think they had the longest playoff drought in the MLB, right? I'm surprised. I thought you were going to go Angels. No. No, fuck that. That – no, no, no. That's one of those losingest organizations in the, all the world. And I hate, hate how they get so much respect just because they have the best baseball player in the league. We doing the NL now? Of course. All right. East? No. Do you want to start with the East? Because I don't want to hurt your feelings on this one. Are you gonna pick the Phillies? Give me, give me my boys. <laughs> Even with Freddie Freeman leaving oh. town, you're still taking your Braves. Yes, because you added Matt Olson, who's four and a half years younger, who put up similar, if not better, numbers than Freddie Freeman last year. I think you're only losing a little bit of batting wow. average. You didn't. It's but, not even been a month, and you're forgetting about Freddie Freeman. 
don't get me wrong. I want Freddie Freeman back. I, I he's my favorite player in baseball right now. He should have been on the Braves. It's kind of, they kind of did him a little dirty, but you did get the best replacement on the market that you could to replace him. And he could put up those same numbers, but yeah, you're losing a little something there, but you're still the best team in the East by far. I have a toss up here. The Mets or the Phillies. Yep. But the Mets are very injured right now. So I'm going to go Phillies because they have the best baseball player in all of baseball in Bryce Harper, who I took on my 10 year MLB draft. So I have to stay, I have to stay with my boy, Bryce Harper. They don't even have the, they, Bryce Harper is not even the best player in that division. He's the best player in baseball. I don't know. I don't know if you heard that or not, but he's the best player in baseball. Dude. Oh my God. Oh, because one he, Soto. Soto, Acuna, uh, DeGrom. <laughs> Uh, who else we have? Um, uh, Scherzer. Max, yeah. Max Scherzer. I mean, those are – he's fifth, sixth. I knew you'd be upset about this because it's not your Braves. But, all right, let's move on to the Central, Bill. Who do you got? Oh, I think I, – I like the Brewers. I like the Brewers. I, yeah, also I, like, took, I also took the Brewers. This is the first time we had the same pick. All right. I, I like the Brewers. I mean, St. Louis, is, I think St. Louis will be the wild card. But I, Is I Brewers like one of those teams that it's a fun team to root for? No, fuck the Brewers. I mean. No, you don't like the Brewers? I, I don't think St. Louis is a fun team to when root C. for. When CC Sabathia was there, I fucking enjoyed watching that. I liked how it's a well, small. They went on, but Ryan Braun tainted those ever. With yeah, because of steroid Steroid news. bullshit yeah. and him faking up. Yeah, like him. Christian Yelich is out there. I like him. He's a he's a great young player. He won an long. MVP and he's he's digressed the last two two years. So if he can get back there, they added Hunter Renfro, who's who's kind of made for a minute. Uh, what do they have? Miller Park up there. I mean, yeah. he he put up thirty one and ninety last year for the Sox. So we'll see. I mean, they they got a good team. Corbin Burns won the um. And I'll say young that Brandon Woodruff there, uh, Adrian Hauser's there, and Eric Lauer, I believe, is a rotation. The fucking knowledge you have of baseball. Jo- Josh, H- Josh Hader is a closer. <laughs> their, 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 their team's pretty good. I mean, they, they got a decent offense, so we'll see. I was just throwing out Christian Yelich, and I thought you would give me credit that I knew CeCe Spathia played there. So I was just I was hoping for, like, a nice job, Ray, but you just had to one-up me with this fucking – I'm going to give you the whole rotation. Some key players to watch over there in Milwaukee. <laughs> Uh, the West, Billiam. Who you got? Uh, Dodgers, easy. I'm just going to say Padres just because they spent almost a billion dollars on their infield, and I just want to see them do something, but it's going to be the Dodgers. Dude, Dodgers Dodgers have four MVPs, I think, on their team right now. So or fuckers. three. What do they have? Bellinger. They have the best batting order, and they have the best pitching rotation. Yeah, what if Trey Turner batting third? It's like Jesus. Trey Turner is so fucking good. That team is just fucking nasty. You had him on. You had him uh, your top five player last year, I think. Trey Turner. You, you guys. You, you guys laughed at me. He's a better fantasy player than he is a. Uh, you guys laughed player. at me, but look at he's me. He's a now. number. One, he's a number one fantasy player hitter. It's Trey Turner, fantasy. You heard it here first, folks. I had him on my fucking MLB draft ten year draft. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill. No, you didn't. You had him on your top 10 MLB players that we made you come up with. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, and everything's, everything's a haze. Uh, so who do you have in the World Series? We gave you the division winners. Who do you have? I think that I have the White Sox coming out of the AL. For the second year in a row, you have the White Sox. Just so just so uh, we're clear. On, okay. Yep. I think they're healthy. I okay. Think I, like, yeah. I like the White Sox. Um, I don't want to. I don't want a winner. Just give me the two, the matchup. Give me uh I think the Dodgers get there this year. Okay. So I don't like doing the same as Bill. So I'm going to take I'm gonna go Tampa. Okay. Versus the Padres. MLB's worst fucking nightmare. Two uh. That would be terrible. <laughs> two shitty mar- two shitty markets, terrible fan bases, just going at it in the World Series. That that would be uh, a nightmare, a PR nightmare for the MLB. Should we do it? MVPs and Cy Youngs and Rookie of the Year and stuff. I mean, let's let's give a winner first for our our uh, World Series. Give me the White Sox. So Bill's taking the White Sox. Take the go- White Sox to win the World Series this year. I'm gonna stay in the AL. I'm gonna take Tampa. I think Tampa Bay wins it all. 
And then our nightmare of Tampa being a title town USA comes full circle. And we are going to hate life. So you want to do a let's do a uh, MVPs. Give me your AL MVP. Uh Vlad Guerrero. Just because he's gonna hit how many home runs? I mean, I don't know how much better he could have got from last year, but he's probably good for 45 this year. And that leads the MLB, you think? Didn't or last AL year. Or AL. Didn't last year. Salvatore Perez hit 48. I'm, a, I'm asking you if the 45 winning MVP is going to lead the MLB. No, no. I think Shannon, uh, I think Otani can get over. over. I think Otani can hit 50. You think Otani, he's, a, he's still splitting his role, right? You still yeah, he still got 40. He had 46 last year. Oh, but he, how much did he pitch last year? Doesn't matter. He's hitting every game. <laughs> Guess the fuck if he's pitching. So All right. That's my, that's my AL. Give me your NL. Freddie Freeman with the Dodgers. Uh, you just love you some self, some Freddie Freeman. No, I just think I just think that's the best team. I just think he's gonna put up phenomenal numbers there in LA. That lineup is completely fucking loaded. It's perfect for him being a what, left-handed batter, at Dodger where, Stadium. Where, where is he in the rotation or in the batting order, rather? I think he's back in cleanup. No he's shit. Either, I think he's either fourth or fifth. I looked at their lineup yesterday. I just don't remember. I know it's like Mookie Betts. No, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman. Uh, Trey Turner, and then like Max Muncy, uh, Justin Turner, those guys are in a row somewhere. So, what's your your uh, viewing pleasure? Is it Red Sox one, Braves two, White Sox three, Dodgers four, or is there? A- <laughs> I actually don't watch the only i barely watch it i follow it more than i watch it so i'll watch Sox games and braves games if they're on tv i'll put it on but i don't yeah. watch the whole i don't watch the whole thing those are other teams i don't want i won't watch them uh, no i could care less like I'll, i it's hard for me just the product the baseball is for me to put on like a neutral neutral team but if it's a good game or like the playoffs i'm like all right i'm watching this but regular season it's 162 games, bro. Fuck that. I'll follow it because I'm a diehard baseball fan, but I'm not sitting through 162 games, nine Fuck inning that. games. No, no. Nope. Fuck that. So you got, we'll let's do Cy Youngs. We won't do Rookie of the Year because fuck you and your Rookie of the Year. I'll but. give my Rookie of the Years, but in the NL, I think Walker Bueller with the Dodgers are going to win the uh, NL Cy Young this year for the AL. I think Garrett Cole finally gets it this year. Even without the sticky. Yeah, I think this is finally his year. I think. Um, is it now for the listeners? Is this purely on baseball or is this because he's going to be in your fantasy team? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> both. He's my ace. Oh, no, perfect. Perfect. No, okay. no. Truth, truthfully, I think, like, I think he was going that way for the Cy Young last year. I think this is finally the year he gets over the hump. He's never won one. Yeah, he's never won a Cy Young. So I think this is – he's going to – I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's never won one. So I think this is the year he gets one. So Garrett Cole and Walker Bueller for me. And let's hear the rookie of the year. So they're going to come up later in the year, but I have O'Neal Cruz in the NL uh, shortstop coming up for Pittsburgh. Uh, they're kind of dicking around with his, his service time. They sent him back down. He's, he tore the cover off the ball in, in spring training, but they're manipulating service time because it's a small market. Fuck you, Ben Charrington. Get that guy up there. You know, it's a small market team. You have one other good player, Brian Reynolds, on that team, and this is what you do. Um, and then the AL catcher prospect, Oddly Rushman, is coming up with Wait, Baltimore. What? What's oddly, the name? oddly Rushman. He's oddly? Number, yeah, he's a number one. One of he's a number one catching he's a number one prospect in all of baseball or right up there top five. Uh, he, he got hurt in spring training, but he should be up in May, and it's either gonna be him and then follow closely Julio Rodriguez out there in Seattle. Your uh, your your pick my out West there. out in the air. Your West yeah. pick, yeah. yeah. Just, oh. All two right, guys, Bill. you've two guys you've never heard of. So well, there you go. Well, well, Bill, after all this baseball talk, I'm sure you have a huge boner, so I'm gonna let you go take care of that and eat some dinner. Uh, so yes, this has been Mom's pussy. Thank you. Uh, this has been the Simple Mind Sports Show Tuesday Social Hour around the MLB. 
Uh, we'll see you guys on Friday for headlines. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, I gotta work on that outro, intro, and everything else. Just terrible. I got something. Bill, we did all yeah. this in an hour and 15 minutes. So can I tell you something? Rich always bitches that I talk a lot. We just hammered out. If it's all three of us, it's two hours. I think it's because you need to have your point. So you you and Rich go at it because you both of you need to be right. Only child syndrome from Rich. have the thing so it's probably gonna time out so i'm gonna send you a new one. no it's fine it's just two of us dummy oh that's what, i was like where the fuck is it why does it come in all right just, let me just, let me pull. just shut like when you want to get rid of it you if you want to make do you really want to make his life a living hell i kind of do but i mean okay don't don't stop to re- record i'm not all right <laughs> oh. good we'll just give him one huge file Oh, dude. he's gonna be so mad. Did I say, oh man, I took four shits today at work. <laughs> Are you not and... a normal? Is that not normal? No, I'm usually a good two to three a day. Yeah, but like I wasn't sure. Like the, the third one, I was like, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go again. <laughs> but man, the toilet paper, Ooh. the toilet paper at my work right now, one my asshole, dude, it's like bleeding <laughs> from fucking wiping my ass. It's like, dude, I should not have this. I should not go. I should not work at a billion dollar company. Reach, brother. Reach. And sit down on a toilet. They should have a day at my work. And scrub my ass with what feels like a fucking sponge. Like, you know those. No, I you know, know those green about. sponges, the, oh, the green and yellow about. sponges. Yeah, oh, yeah, like a Brillo. I don't want to wipe my asshole with a Brillo pad. And that's what it feels like. Mm-hmm. And then when I have to wash my fucking hands, automatic water automatic soap so as soon as you reach over the fucking soap the water shuts off then it's like you're fucking fighting with a goddamn thing to wash your fucking hands how many stalls you got in there how many stalls you got in that thing who i always go to the single single bathroom i always i know where the one single bathroom is i walk from the furthest plate in one building to the other building just so i can use a single but is that one of the biggest russian roulettes that you've ever played in your life no See, no. I'm at the point where it's starting to rumble in my tummy, and I waddle my ass into the single bathroom, and there's sometimes there's people in there. So if they're if that stall, I call it Russian roulette because if you go in there, you're fucking waddling and running to get to the next bathroom to take a shit. Oh, there's like twelve bathrooms within like thirty feet of each other. It's not oh, that not bad. This. There's oh, just this. This. so I'm not I'm not looking far for a bathroom. Oh, I am. I'm I actually. I actually, depending on which way I go, I walk by three other bathrooms just to get to the single bathroom. Perfect. That's perfect. All right, All what right, are we Bill. doing? Do you want to start the do you want to start the baseball show now? Or should we just keep oh, this is the destination.